All right, so in the video we did before uh, where we showed how to do the play wave um, in the VBA code, so for instance, uh, opening up the VBA code and we, we had the expression, and then we called uh, the, actually we re renamed the instance of the numeric display, and we came down here and enabled it to VBA code so that we can control a play wave inside of Factory Talk View Studio Site Edition. Um, now this is again, in my example, I'm using version 13, but again, you uh, can use whatever version you want to and the play wave should still work. Again, uh, some things are there and some things are not there depending upon if you're using a really old version like Factory Talk 7, but I still believe in Factory Talk 7, the play wave is there. So it would work the same way. So everything I'm teaching right here is still current from Factory Talk 7 to Factory Talk 13. So keep, keep that in mind. Um, I'm just going to show you a couple provisions that you can do because and when we wrote the VBA code, I want to show you when we originally wrote the VBA code, we did not add the um, provisions that we should for as far as the fault log and handler, right? So um, all we did was have the uh, if statement saying if the element that we put in is equal to one, we're going to do the play wave. Now what we did is right here, we just took some default code and we said on error handler, okay, so on error, go to error handler. So if it's an error, it's gonna jump down here to here and then it's gonna log the, the uh, diagnostic message, it's going to log the error description and it's going to put it into fact in the factory talk diagnostic severity error. So it's gonna let you know what it was and how it worked inside of the factory talk diagnostics um, and that's very helpful because you want to know where that's at and you also don't want to have uh, VBA code problems so I'm going to show you a way a quick way to do this um, to kind of hinder that from happening um, one is that the if not uh, error it is error of this expression which is the again the element that we're using if you look right here the name of this expression uh, the name of the numeric display is play a uh, play alarm example right so in that case play alarm example the value of that as long as that value is good as long as that value is current it's able to be read then you're going to go ahead and allow your normal play wave to work now keep in mind this does add a second end if and you have to exit the sub for this to work all right so I'm going to show you that that's exactly the way you should actually put that code in. This is per Factory Talk. This is per Rockwell, their recommendation as well. So this is not exactly something I just came up with and uh, you know started doing. This is, uh, again, the error handler is something you should always put inside of your VBA code. I was giving you in the other video a quick example of how to use a play wave. Now, I'm going to show you a different pr way to protect your yourself on this one. Now currently you see the VBA code or the actual system is working. Um, it is currently has been triggered right here. So you can see if I if I go and trigger it right now, <clears throat> if I go into my code and I trigger this bit, you can see that it will work. So it did call the play wave, okay? And this bit does does coincide with the bit in the PLC. Now how do I know that? Because if I go to a one uh, you know, I trigger that bit off and it goes to a zero that's exactly what's happening all right so you can see that that does coincide with the bit that I'm triggering inside the PLC now keep in mind there are some errors that you would get if you're running in diet and in, in the developmental mode that you would not get if you're running in a client mode so what do I mean by that the, the uh, client mode is basically going to be obviously your your pre-made client now, um, and that's going to be what your operator uses, or it could be an overhead display. It could be many, many different things. Uh, the developmental mode is your developmental mode you're in right now, where you're actually adding, um, editing, doing different things with your actual, your inside of Factor Talk View Studio, and your editing. Uh, so when you're running code like this, sometimes you will get a an error down here, just because it's not allowed to be done inside of the developmental mode. Now, it's not going to be an error at that point. It should be like a caution, uh, but just keep that in mind. Now, the second thing I want you to understand, too, is there's a soft way to do this inside of your, your expression. So inside of your expression, the expression that's being controlled, 
linking the tag to the actual element, the numeric display. You know, this is the expression we're linking to the numeric display we called play wave, right? There's a soft way to, do, to actually protect yourself too, and that's going to be adding another tag. Okay, so you can go into your tags, and you go into your folders right here. Uh, in this case, my shortcut is called BBA. I'm going to go to Diagnostic uh, uh, Items right here, right? Diagnostic Items. And I'm going to spread this open a little bit, and I'm going to go down to where it says Connection Active. This is a read-only tag, so basically you get that. And then you're going to add in the logical, logical component to say and. So you want to say the connection is active and your bit is um, you know, active. And then it will trigger that, that set event. Now always check your syntax and verify your syntax is correct. And then hit apply. That's what I consider a soft protection. Now again, I don't necessarily recommend... Uh, I recommend both of them, right? Soft protect your, your system and do your factory talk diagnostics inside of your air handler, inside of your VBA code for safe practice. Um, but let's just keep in mind, all this still does work um, just like it did. So if I come over here and trigger this alarm again, it's going to again trigger the play right here, this uh, play wave. It's triggering the play wave. It only plays it once again. So, but if you have multiple of these, just keep in mind, it will come in here and play. Um, it, they may play on top of each other, so you might have to put code in for that. Uh, just keep in mind, I'm trying to show you some, some error handling, protection, things like that that we just didn't talk about in the last video where we talked about the adding the play wave. So, no matter how many times I trigger this, you can see it's going to play each time. Now you can't see it playing right now, uh, but right here in diagnostics, right here on the very bottom of the screen, you'll see that. There's also two, I want you to note, diagnostics that you can pull up, diagnostic viewer. And this is going to be what I'm talking about when, uh, when you're troubleshooting any kind of HMI system, it's always best to use factory talk diagnostic viewer and to see exactly what's happening. So if you had some kind of error in your VBA code, which I did right here, then I can go in and fix it. Um, and then all the successful stuff is actually right here, right? You see all the play waves that happened, um, when they happened, you get timestamps, you get who did it, you know, what the provider was, um, you get a ton of information and that's all coming from that actual diagnostic. So, um, and let's open a VBA code for that. That's all, this is all going to be, uh, if there's an error that's going to go directly to that diagnostic log. So keep that in mind and that's something that should be added again. So the only only thing that got added was the error handler, go to error handler, the error handler down here and the script for the error handler and then the if statement to say that the the element that we're trying to use is current. It's not it, it's basically this is the exact same code that you are putting in for like the soft protection that I just I just showed you how to do. Um, this is more redundancy. So then I'm saying, okay, so if both happen, you basically want to have redundancy and protect yourself as best you can so your VBA code does not halt. It does not fault out. So it's basically like a best practice saying if not is error and then your element is inside the quotations, then you want to go ahead and do your if statement and then end your if when you get done with that. But keep in mind, this was an if up here. So end your if again, again right here, and then exit the sub right here, and that should actually work. Um, you're exiting the sub because up here, this is jumping to the error handler down here if there is an error. So if there is an error, it's gonna jump to the error handler down here, and then log it in the script right here. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, and again, when it comes down to it, that's two different ways to, to protect your system when it comes to VBA code, especially when it comes to a play wave. Um, that's a very simple illustration of how to do that. But this does incur with teaching you how to make sure you put in the proper protocol to do either a soft protect or either a VBA code protect or both. I highly recommend that you do both because it's going to protect you. It's a little bit more confusing, but when it comes down to it, having your code work reliably and function the way it should is designed is important. 
With that said, hopefully you learned a lot on this video. We'll see you guys on the next one.